Hey guys, Mark here, Random Words for Christ. Welcome back. Folks, today I'm just gonna uh, jump right into the message. I have a word um, that I wrote down in my journal um, this morning. And for those of you who are new to this channel, you know, I, I journal. Uh, when I'm in my quiet time and stuff like that and I'm just sitting quietly, I just write down the things that I believe that the Lord is revealing to me. And what I wanna do is I wanna share this. Um, we just closed out in the month of July, and now we've just entered into the month of August. So I want to share what I believe that the Lord has um, is, is, is speaking to me. But I think it will be a blessing to those uh, who are out there and may pertain to you also. So, But with every word um, that's given, uh, I urge you to take this to the Lord and ask the Lord <clears throat> um, one if this pertains to you um, applies to you and where you are in your life or in your walk with the Lord um, so let's go ahead and get into it the Lord has revealed in the in, the Lord has revealed in the month of July the seventh month things will come to a close the seven, the number seven, signifies completion. And there are doors that God has closed or will close. It may be with people, places, or things that cannot go where he's taking you. You must let go of whatever God is showing you to let go of. The month of August, the eighth month, is new beginnings. God has something new that he wants to do in your life. But we must let go of the past. Whatever he's showing you to let go of, this is a test of faith. Will you trust God? Even though you do not have all the answers. Will you follow him with the unknown or go back to what you are familiar or your comfort zone? Hmm. God has tremendous plans that lie ahead. But the question is, will you move forward with God or stick in your current condition and let the blessing pass you by? The choice is yours. Folks, um, I think that's abundantly clear. And I also have a scriptural reference um, that I want to jump right into to read. Isaiah 43, verses 18 and 19. And it says this. Forget the former things. Do not dwell in the past. Let me say that one more time. Forget the the former things do not dwell in the past see I am doing a new thing now it springs up do you not perceive it I'm making a way in the wilderness and streams and in the wasteland folks I believe that it's abundantly clear. <clears throat> and as I said before, take this during your prayer time to the Lord. I believe that in, I, in my own personal life, I can say this, that I've seen, uh, the Lord has revealed and spoken to me about things that he was closing down. 
And he did. <laughs> um, but it's in preparation for what God is doing, or should I say, is going to do, for what lies ahead. You know, folks, there's a, there, you know, there's a scriptural reference out there. I don't have the, the verse with me, but it says that you cannot put new wine into old wineskins. But that you have to put new wine into new wineskins. So, um, whatever the Lord is showing you, whatever the Lord is revealing to you, whatever the Lord is speaking to you, to let go of in this in this hour, in this new season that we have just entered into, whatever the Lord is telling you to turn your back on, to leave behind, I, I urge you, follow the instructions of the Lord. Follow whatever the Lord Jesus Christ is instructing you to do. I'll just say this, folks. God has some awesome plans for his people. He has some tremendous plans that lie ahead for his uh, uh, children, the children of God. <clears throat> and I'm talking, you know, you know, folks, um, I, I, you know, those who, you know, um, are um, who really want to go ahead and. Within, yeah, I'll okay, so just for themselves. <clears throat> no, I'll just leave it there. God has tremendous plans for his children. And I encourage you that whatever it is that God is showing you to leave behind, to leave in the past, leave it behind, folks. And as I said, that could be people, it could be places, or it could be things that you're currently involved with, associated with, or things that you have that the Lord is asking you to let go of. Or maybe that you find that, uh, uh, um, that something has closed in your life that you didn't expect, but it's not for you to fear. The Lord is bringing you into something new. And it's just time for us to Settle in and to trust God. If this message speaks to you, give it a like, a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. You know, Jesus loves us. Loves us and only wants the best for us. But we're also living in a time, folks, that, um, you know, we walk by faith and not by sight. And, you know, there's also a scripture that's, that's out there that says... That the just shall live by faith. So we have to go ahead. And even when we don't know. We don't have, I'll call it the blueprint. We don't have the road map. But Jesus has the blueprint. And he has the map. And so we just have to trust him. And grab hold of him. And follow him. And um, enter in and receive Whatever blessing he has for your life. Share, like, and subscribe. Leave a comment. See you next video.